Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on solving equations. This is the third video on this topic, so if you've not watched the first two, then I suggest you watch those first because we cover the more basic skills in those videos. Here we're looking at equations involving fractions. So we have 4x plus 5 over 5 and 8, which is equal to x plus 17 over 3. Uh, so let's rewrite this expression. So we've got 4x plus 5 over 5 is equal to x plus 17 over 3. So as usual, the goal here is to get x on its own. And to do that, we need to change these from fractions just into normal expressions. So the way we do that is we multiply by five on both sides and multiply by three on both sides. So we multiply the denominators of each fraction uh, or multiply both sides of the equation by the denominators of each fraction, sorry. So we're gonna be left with three lots of four x plus five, which is equal to five lots of x plus 17. So when we multiply by three on this side oh, and uh, five on this side, the fives cancel. So we're left with the three. And th likewise with the other side, when we multiply by three and by five, the threes cancel. So we're just left with five. So this is what the next line would look like. So now the next step is to expand the brackets. So uh, we get three times four X, which is 12 X and three times five, which is 15. So that's equal to five times X, which is 5x plus 5 times 17, which is 85. So uh, the next step then is going to be to get all the x's on their own. And to do that, we're going to try and remove the x's from this side here. Uh, so we'll subtract 5x from both sides of the equation. So we'll minus 5x. Uh, so we get 12x 12 min 12 sorry, minus 5x. So that's 7x uh, plus 15 is equal to, we've removed this 5x now. Uh, so it's just 85 on this side. Now the next step is going to be to get x on its own, or, or the x terms on their own at least. So we'll uh, subtract 15 from both sides. So if we remove 15 from both sides, then we get 7x on its own on this side, and that's going to be equal to 70. And then the last step then is to divide both sides by 7. So if we divide by 7, we're going to be left with x on its own. So x equals 70 divided by 7, which is 10. So our final answer is x equals 10. Solving equations is one of the most fundamental topics, so it's important that you get loads of practice in before your exam. You can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which are instantly marked, so you get feedback straight away, allowing you to keep track of where you're going wrong and how you can improve for your exams. So if this is something you're interested in, then you can click the link below, it will take you straight there.